And Joe, where do you think rock and roll is going? Speaking of back then and today, you know, like there's not rock radio stations. Boy, Robin, that's a good one, you know. Uh, is rock dead? Uh... Yeah, I think so, pretty yeah. much. It's pretty dead because there's not a lot of rock and roll radio stations. And we were talking about this on the show the other day. We were talking about that it's almost like, I think Robin said it, that rock and roll is going to be like jazz, jazz in a way. Yeah. It's going to be just this art form that existed and was big, and then some guys will still play it, but it's not going to have. It's dead, but it's it's not dead, but it's not it's not number one. Country, I, country's number one. But I never thought I'd see the day that, yeah. you, you know, rock and roll was such a Howard, part of my life. Howard, think of it, man. Think. You know, that's what Analog Man is all about. Right. The new album. The digital digital technology is nice, but along with it is this virtual world that we all go in more and more. Yeah. And it doesn't exist. What? It's in a computer. It's an illusion. What? And we sit in chairs. Our bodies sit in chairs for hours waiting for our minds to come back. Yeah. Ah. I like side B. <laughs> right. I like cart machines. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's different, machine. man. It's different for us. Yeah. And the problem with the dicta with with the digital technology. Right. It ate the record business. It did, yeah. It ate radio. So you're not on Twitter, are you? It ate intellectual property. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that drive you crazy as an artist that um, you know, a guy who's like you, like a musician who comes up now, they they can't even sell a record because everything's out there for free. People don't go and buy DVDs I know. and CDs. I know. So they, they, they rip them off and that. It does seem unfair, right? People ask me, what advice do you have for the upcoming musician? I don't have any. I'm trying to figure it out, too. <laughs> what is your game plan with the new CD? In other words, it's hitting the stores, I think, today, right? Tomorrow. It, tomorrow, all right? And you yeah. have a new single out. But what's the game plan? Can you really... Well, I guess you could go around the country and play these songs. It's almost like starting over. Don't no, I don't. Joe Walsh is one of the biggest names in rock, and yet it's almost like you're starting over again. You got to go out, play for audiences, and introduce them to this music. It's a fresh start for me. So what are you going to do? What's the game plan? Well, the deal with everything is, in lieu of record companies. Uh, the way to do it now is the social network. You have to get visible. Yes. If you can, if you can make people aware that you have a record out, they'll find it. Right. So your game plan is to use social media and sort of get there. because just like look at all some of the great artists. Paul McCartney just came out with them. Nobody gave a shit. You know what I mean? Paul McCartney. It's like. You're, it's like everyone has an even playing field now. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to bank on your name. It's just that, that you know, I feel great for guys like you who have an audience already. Mm -hmm. And you can go out and do a James Gang tour, or you could go do a Joe Walsh tour, or you could do an Eagles tour. So you're fine. Nothing's going to bother you. But when you put out new music like you just have, that's the conundrum. That's the thing that you can't figure out. You can't assume that you're going to have a hit record. No. Uh... Uh, what's platinum now? 50,000 copies. That's right. <laughs> Go make a living doing that. Woo! Right. <laughs> how, many records you know, have you, how many records between the Eagles and the James Gang have you sold? And Joe Walsh solo stuff. I don't know. You never counted it up? I got... Uh, I lost count after about... 85,000. I was counting them on my fingers. Somebody said, you mean you really don't know, Joe? Isn't that an impressive number to know for yourself and say, and look back and say, you know what? I can reflect on that number. Probably, but in that category, I'm not really that big of a fish. Are look you, at somebody like Jeff Lynn. Now, Jeff Lynn produced your new record. Yeah. Jeff Lynn was, of course, of Electric Light Orchestra, ELO, and uh, yeah. he's a great That legendary. guy sold some records. Did he? Yeah. More than you? ELO, I think so. But if you count the Eagles. Well, Eagles, record, yeah. yeah, okay, Eagles. Eagles yeah. are one of the biggest selling bands of all time. Yeah, Hotel California, Hotel I think. California isn't alone. that the one album that I think that's the number one album for the Eagles ever? Greatest okay. hits. Greatest hits. Greatest hits. Yeah, oh, we wow. go back and forth with Michael Jackson. What's the best song you ever wrote? Seriously, out of all the songs, I have, you know, I don't know if it was Funk 49, Walk Away, I don't know. They're, 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 I, I could name uh, Rosemary. Uh, uh, Rosewood Bitters. Rosewood Bitters. Yeah. More, I, I think, you know, all these great songs. What is the greatest song you ever wrote that you're most proud the of? The one you love the most. Yeah. 
Uh, Eagles wise, I co-wrote "Life in the Fast Lane" with Great John song. and Glenn. Right. Yeah. Um, solo wise. Probably Rocky Mountain Way. Yeah, what a song! Mm. Do you still stop and listen to that on the radio? I mean, it's on the radio all the time on, on uh, you know on classic rock stations. Do, if you hear it, will you stop and listen to it and go, "Man, that's a good fucking record"? Or will Who you just, it? yeah, will you will you just will you just uh, you know tune by and say, "I don't want to hear it again"? You know, one of the one of the things that makes it magic is it's a bunch of guys playing in a room. Right, Rocky Mountain Way. Yeah. You're listening to how it was made. That groove yeah. you can't do with Pro Tool. Mm. No. And you remember where you, where you, when you came up with that? Or were you so drunk? Like, was that part of your drunken formula where, like, hey, I get really high and I write. Do you remember any of that process of writing that great song? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. What was the process on that one? Uh, I was in Colorado. Right. I was. I had left the James Gang. I was worried that I might have made a mistake. It's scary. Yeah. 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 Because that was a successful entity. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we were doing fine. Why did you leave? <clears throat> uh, Three-piece band, I just got saturated with playing really loud and, and being like a kick-ass uh, guitar guy. Right. Playing through Marshalls and stuff. Why, you thought on your own you could, what, tone it down? I was hearing all these songs, like, with a piano. On and they them. didn't want that. The other two guys were against it. Kind of. And also your audience demanded you be a certain sound. So yeah. if you went to a piano, you were afraid the audience would reject. So you just said, fuck it, I'll leave the whole thing. Yeah. Did those guys want to kill you for breaking up something successful? No. Did you call to apologize to them when you got sober? I didn't have to really apologize. I apologized when I quit. I just said, guys, I can't do this. Uh, I, I'm a musician. Too, yeah. Yeah. And oh. I got to go have a look at that. And so where? So you were scared. You were in Colorado. I'm in Colorado. Okay. Uh, and I have an album done, which was uh, the Barnstorm album. The, the first solo album I did. And I'm mowing the lawn. And You I'm, were mowing the lawn? I was mowing the lawn. Yeah. Well, rock stars mow lawn? I didn't have any words for Rocky Mountain Way, but we had the track done. Right. And I'm just <laughs> dead in the water about this song. What is it about? You mean you just hear music. There's no vocal. There's no... Tune really, except that, that, that. If there were words, I hear where they go. But you don't have the actual words. I don't know what they are. So how do they come to you? Well, I'm on the lawn. I look up, and there's the front range of the Rocky Mountains with snow on them <laughs> in the summer. Right. And it knocked me back because it was just beautiful. And, and I thought, well, uh, I have committed. I'm in Colorado. It's too late to regret the James Gang. The Rocky Mountain Way is better than the way I had because the music wow. was better. Rocky and I Mountain got the word, yeah. bam. And uh, he's telling us this, tells us that, changes it every day. That's about the James Gang's manager. Right. We don't need the ladies crying because the story said that's giving up the regret of leaving the James Gang. And I got all those words all at once, and I ran into the house to write the words down. <clears throat> and the lawnmower kept going <laughs> over into the neighbor's yard and <laughs> ate the garden. <laughs> it was an expensive song to write, but... <laughs> oh, I got the chills when you tell me that. Yeah, that's incredible. I get the chills because that's such a fucking cool process. I wish I had...